Hello, I'm Aaron Davis with AGN TV, and I'm in the studio today with Katie Phipps. And Katie Phipps, you were recently released from county jail after nearly a year and a half. I and spent 466 days in the Randall County Jail. Okay. And how do you feel about uh, being free, being the charges being dropped? It is um, very good to be home. Okay. It was a very um, tremendous release. Uh, mm -hmm. So I guess now that you uh, have been have the charges against you have been dropped, you know what uh, um, what are you going to do going forward? Are you going to seek legal redress or? I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet. Okay. Um, I've been taking my time to spend time with my family to be mm -hmm. loved after mm -hmm. being hated for so long. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to chill out for a little while. Okay, that sounds good. Now. How do you feel about uh, the way things uh, fell out for you? How do you feel specifically about the way the case was It was built absolutely up? ridiculous. Mm -hmm. okay. um, Is 466 days too long to be waiting? Absolutely. Oh, yeah? Um, there was... Um, there was no reason for the excessive amount of time. Mm -hmm. I understand a police investigation takes some time, yeah. especially when somebody's life was taken from them. Mm -hmm. But uh, that was not okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, um, are you confidence, uh, confident that your innocence will be upheld? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And uh, now, uh, I guess one thing is that you had a little bit of a statement to say. I did. Mm -hmm. um, I know that I've been in the news, I've been on TV, my face has been in every newspaper in this state and probably a couple of other states. There are a lot of people here in Amarillo that are not happy mm -hmm. that I am free. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that a lot of people have been highly deceived mm -hmm. and um, I don't think the public realizes that there are two families here that have been completely destroyed. There are four kids. Uh, two who will never get their mother back, and two who nearly lost their mother as well. Mm -hmm. These kids see the comments on social media. Mm -hmm. These kids see the hateful, judgmental things that people say um, without any clue as to what's going on. I've been out for seven days, and I don't feel safe walking through this community by myself but I've done it. Mm. And even though no one has said anything to me, mm -hmm. the, the ugly looks, the under their breath comments, yeah. it's, it's not okay. And what would you say to those detractors if you could face them today? Hatred stirs up strife, mm -hmm. but love covers all sins. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what happened. Yeah. They weren't there, and if they were, they need to say something. Mm. Uh, they don't know me, mm -hmm. and they don't know my family. Yeah. Um, and I find it sad that the town that I was raised in mm. could be so ugly. For the first time in my life, I'm ashamed to be called a Texan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think that people need to step back and see that it's, it's not black and white like yeah. they think it is. Okay. Now, one thing you said there that uh, was that uh, you said if if they were there, they should speak up. They should speak up. Are you are you looking for someone to you know possibly speak up on on this case, possibly help? You know. What happened to Robin was unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It was cruel. Her family. I don't know what kind of pain they've been through. Mm. I don't want to know what mm -hmm. kind of pain they've been through. Yeah. But if it's anything like mine, mm -hmm. it's unbearable. Mm. And now they're completely confused once again. So they're starting all over. And I think that in this community, the love that I've known and the compassion I've known in this community I think we need to start showing that. Mm -hmm. I've seen that you do have a support network around I you. I do. Yeah. I have a lot of mm -hmm. people who love me, mm -hmm. and I'm blessed for yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So now, 
if um, if you had a chance to be able to speak, you know, to Robin's family, you know, what would you say? I don't know if I'd be uh, able to speak at all. That might be a tough question. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for what happened to them. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't want to know what it feels like to lose a child. I have a daughter. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want to know that pain. Oh. I, I don't know what I would say to them. I would. I'm praying for you. No, I guess on a lighter note, what was the first thing that you did when you got out of jail? I saw my best friend. Oh yeah? Did she come to pick you she up? She was waiting for me. Oh, that's very nice. Mm -hmm. Saw her and uh, my sisters and mm -hmm. my nephew and mm -hmm. I went home and I took a shower. Okay. <laughs> that's what I did. Okay, all right. <laughs> the showers aren't as good in jail. I mean, so. no, no they're not. Okay. Now, um, can you possibly speak about your experience in county jail? You know, I don't want to talk That's about okay. that now. That's okay. Definitely. Definitely. Um, now, going forward, um, you have wrongfully spent a year and a half in jail. Are you looking to somehow um, get part of that, uh, part of your life back? Uh, from that time, you know, a year There's and a no half missing. There's no refunds for lost no. time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I did tell my son when this was going on. I said, mm -hmm. um, "We've got two options at this point. We can either crumble underneath the pressure of this, or we can rise mm -hmm. to a whole new level of epicness." Mm -hmm. And we chose to rise mm -hmm. as a family. It's a good lesson. Yeah. And um, he's been a trooper. He's mm -hmm. That kid's been through it. Yeah. That kid's been mm -hmm. through it. Uh, so, going forward, I mean, I don't, I don't know what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've lost everything. Yeah. I've lost my career, mm -hmm. my car, my mm -hmm. home. Yeah. My kids are fifteen hundred miles apart from each other. Wow. Uh, going forward, I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but at this point, what I want to make a point as the ugliness and the hatred has got to stop. Mm. Will you stay? In Amarillo? Absolutely. Okay, this, this is, is your my home. hometown. Okay, all right. And hopefully, love will conquer all, right? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Love well, never fails. <laughs> thank you. Well, thank you for being with me today. Absolutely. And thank you. Um, I'm Aaron Davis with AGN TV, and thank you very much.